guys and welcome to the contracting guy this is the contracting guy and i'm just outside of the magic kingdom as you can see walt is there with his little friend mickey i am received an email from a veteran and he asks the following question he said hey contracting guy my name is rex and i'm from grass lake michigan and i have a question I offer a service that I know the government will use, and I'm familiar with a statement of work. But what is a performance work statement? I'm confused. Please help me out. Well, Rex, from Grass Lake, Michigan, I'll have an answer for that in just a moment. Well, Rex, from Grass Lake, Michigan, let me put at ease some of the concerns that you might have. First is, you don't create a statement of work, nor do you create a performance statement of work. You just respond to it. So regardless of what type of statement of work it is, you're just going to respond to it. There's nothing magical about a performance statement of work. Now, what is important to know about a performance statement of work, it's based off of your plan on getting things done. Because the government is going to look at your plan and look at their uh, solicitation and say, does it make sense? Does your plan, based off of the solicitation, make sense? So your plan will actually be your technical proposal. So when somebody talks about performance statement of work, you don't have to go ballistic and go, well, I don't know what that is, and I've never created one. Well, you don't have to. In fact, you're not creating it. This is all the government stuff. The government creates it, you then respond. And your response is going to be a technical proposal. Now, just to give you a balance on this, is a statement of work really focuses on a, pres a prescriptive model of contracting. For example, uh, construction contracting where you have drawings. Well, we are prescriptive about what we want the contractor to do. We don't want them to deviate from the drawings. So we say, this is what you're going to do, and this is how you're going to do it. Because we want the outcome based on the drawings that we, uh, we secured. When you look at performance-based uh, statements of work, you're looking at an outcome-based uh, result. A commonly used uh, service contract is the uh, lawn mowing or grounds maintenance. But using lawn mowing for this one is that uh, we don't care how you mow the lawn. We don't care. What we do care about is that the lawn is mowed and to whatever standard that might be. So we will identify standards, and we will identify uh, measures, but we won't tell you how you're going to do it, because that would be prescriptive. So if we told you, you must use a 60-inch uh, a six, a riding lawnmower to, uh, to do this, well, that's prescriptive. What if you don't have that? A performance-based statement of work would say we want the lawn mowed. We want it to be this high. We want it to have this type of edging. So these are the things that we will say the, uh, that focus on the outcome or the results, never on the process of how it gets done. Now, a take, another takeaway from the performance-based statement of work is this. It requires more communication. Now, I talk about that in an earlier um, podcast about communication. This is where communication is essential. You need to speak with your contracting officer or the contracting officer's representative about what's happening and where things are going. And if there's any considerations or concerns or things that they need to be aware of, the more you communicate, the better it's going to be. So in, in a performance statement of work, it's going to demand more communication. It's going to also demand some, a little bit more, a different type of oversight from the federal government. And they'll have 
a quality assurance surveillance plan, which means they'll look at certain things at certain times. This is what they're going to do. So the demand of freedom, and there's a certain amount of freedom that goes with creating uh, your own outcome, uh, creating an outcome result uh, process based on an outcome that you're seeking, that the government's seeking, is that your method is going to be your method. And the government's going to want to evaluate that. And they will have to know your technical proposal so they can develop a, appropriate uh, measures to be able to ensure that you're doing what you're saying you're going to do. Okay. Well, Rex, this has been rather lengthy. I, If you need more information, please contact the contracting guy at my email that will be following. But Rex from Grass Lake, Michigan, this is the contracting guy. I'm out. Thank you for watching The Contracting Guy. Please like, subscribe, and share the video. We'd appreciate that. This is The Contracting Guy. I'm out.